Looking for the best laptop for remote work? After 2020, more and more professionals have adopted a strategy of remote work in order to adapt to the current working climate. Choosing a laptop for remote work does require a bit of deliberation. Not all laptops designed for normal office use will be ideal for you in a remote working environment. There are some key features that become mandatory as you prepare to work from home. First of all, we chose laptops within the ideal performance bracket for general office use. Sure, different work categories will require different performance tiers, but our general choices reflect the average office laptop. Word processing, presentations, data manipulation, video conferencing, and basic productivity tasks should be handled seamlessly and without any sort of compatibility issues. We focus specifically on the smooth operation of productivity applications. For the remote work scenario, our consideration was also based on networking and communications. For a laptop to be ideal for remote work, you need to be able to synchronize yourself with your peers and your office environment virtually, and that requires good networking capabilities. We also considered connectivity and I.O. to be the main focus. Our selected laptops prioritize the use of good connectivity hardware, have robust I.O. selections, and generally make remote work a seamless experience in tune with your office environment. Keeping these factors in mind, we have curated a selection of the very best laptops for remote work. They are scored on individual categories, given an average rating, and then ranked accordingly. So let's get started. Price information and all laptops mentioned in the video are available in the description. Number 5. Microsoft Surface Go 3 the Microsoft Surface Go 3 is a bit of an odd one from the punch. With this laptop, it's quite clear that Microsoft has not targeted this for any extensive and high-load tasks. Rather, the Surface Go 3 is more focused on portability with its small size and for light work. Following almost the same design pattern as the Surface Go 2, the Surface Go 3 is a lightweight, small, and very portable laptop. With a durable aluminum build, it cuts down on the price and makes it more affordable. It features the same durable stand at the back that we've come to terms with. The Go 3 features a 10.5-inch display screen with rather thick bezels. Regardless, the colors and the brightness are something you'll be pleased with. However, it features an aspect ratio of 3-2, which might not be perfect for everyone. Also, the Surface Go 3 ends up leaving some trails behind in bright backgrounds when you're scrolling up and down. It also features fast charging, which is extremely useful. Microsoft has rated the battery to last 11 hours of usage. However, that is obviously subject to change as things like brightness, the intensity of usage, and more do come into play. Having said that, with the portable option and the ease of use that the Surface Go 3 has, the battery life and the fast charging were really welcoming. This is not really the laptop for consistent and high load intensive tasks, which other typical laptops support, but in its defense, that's not really what this laptop is intended for. You're much better suited and will end up enjoying the Surface Go 3 for your lighter tasks, such as document editing, web browsing, and more. And on top of that, Microsoft has made it much more affordable than the other similar 2-in-1 laptops of the same category. To sum up, we like it because it's budget-friendly. It has good battery life and the fast charging. On the downside, the screen leaves trails when navigating texts, and the bezels are chunky. Our rating for performance is 7 out of 10, battery 8 out of 10, Display, 7 out of 10. Value for money, 7 out of 10. For an overall rating of 7 out of 10. Number 4. Lenovo IdeaPad 3 The Lenovo IdeaPad 3 has done an excellent job of filling the void between two expensive and two cheap laptops. There's no denying that the Lenovo Idea 3 has competitors that weigh far better in terms of what they can do, but Lenovo's offering does have an excellent value advantage. Although the overall build quality is quite solid, we did notice some flex on the top half of the IdeaPad 3, which isn't very reassuring. As a bonus, we are able to get a full HD resolution of 1920 by 1080 with this laptop and the price, but the color reproduction and the glare are quite mediocre with this laptop's panel. On the top bezel, there's a 720p webcam with a physical sliding shutter as well. The base model of the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 comes with a Ryzen 5 3500U, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 256 gigabyte SSD. It features built-in Vegas 8 graphics, which won't run you any high-end games, however, can decently get the job done for what this laptop's target use is. On top of that, it has some really good thermals, and the credit for that goes to the software and the hardware design of this laptop. Moreover, you can also choose to vary and adjust the speed of the fans located on the sides and at the bottom. Moving on to the keyboard and trackpad, we found them to be quite comfortable and responsive. The slight lift and the curvature of the keys on the keyboard help make for smooth and fatigue-free typing, and the trackpad is responsive and quick enough to make any kind of lag unnoticeable. The Lenovo IdeaPad 3 is a great budget laptop that will not end up burning a hole in your wallet. For those who are looking for a higher performing laptop, your best bet will be to spend a little bit more.
However, for people with everyday tasks on their hands and no plans for more intensive or higher load usage in mind, the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 is an excellent buy that will be affordable and easy on the wallet. To sum up, we like it because of the great looking chassis, superb budget buy, and the good thermal design with controllable fan speeds. On the downside, it's not ideal for higher load tasks, it has low brightness level, and limited RAM. Our rating for performance is 7.5 out of 10. Battery is 8 out of 10. Display, 7.5 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating, 7.5 out of 10. Number 3. HP Envy X360 15 Compared to the higher priced laptops, the HP Envy X360 is a much welcomed addition to this list with its relatively affordable price. Given that this laptop is targeted towards the professional class, HP does not really make any attempts to show any highlighting features with the chassis and design. However, in the case of Envy X360 15, the bezels have gotten thinner with the exception of the bottom bezel as it is still the same. Being a touchscreen laptop, the hinges let you fold the NV360 comfortably in half as well. The hinges were not really flimsy and there was minimum flex on the body as well. In terms of performance, it comes with Ryzen 5 processors. The Ryzen notebook lineup of CPUs tend to be highly reliant on the power and thermal limits that the laptop has. Therefore, it's very important that the HP NV360 be kept in cool and optimal temperatures with no blockage to the airflow as it can have a negative effect on the performance of its CPU. Having said that, we are pleasantly relieved by the performance of this 6-core CPU, with its base specs of Ryzen 5 5500U, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 256GB SSD, we noticed really decent performance metrics throughout. The battery life does take a hit here as it's only about 8 hours with the best and least extensive usage you can come up with. HP NVX360's sound system left some things to be questioned. Well, it did okay with its Bang and Olufsen audio drivers and gives you different presets for switching between different different types of audio output, the design does not impress. The webcam is a 720p camera, meaning that you shouldn't be expecting any high-end picture reproduction. However, there is a physical shutter switch on the keyboard that simply deactivates the camera. Conclusively, in terms of performance, there are sure boosts and benefits, but HP still has some catching up to do as some aspects end up lagging. However, with most laptops sporting a much more expensive price tag, the HP Envy X360 remains the budget laptop that it originally set out for and does a great job in proving that there is a market for it. To sum up what we like is the great budget performance ratio, the screen color reproduction is excellent, physical shutter switch for the webcam, and the build quality is solid and sturdy. On the downside, the thermals are not very good and the speaker vents are located at the bottom. Our rating for performance is 8 out of 10. Battery is 7 out of 10. Display, 8 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. Number 2. MacBook Pro With the new M1 Pro and M1 Max chips, Apple boasts not just significantly better and improved performance, but efficient power consumption as well. Moreover, the display quality has improved, as well as its refresh rate, ProMotion, which is a definite bonus for those working in graphics and design. In a remote work environment, it's now essential to have a faster screen refresh rate, 120Hz variable, and the MacBook does that perfectly. Although the latest MacBook is a bit larger and heavier than the previous models, it does ultimately serve a purpose here, and that is greater battery life and more ports for connectivity. The 16-inch variant comes with a resolution of 3456 by 2234 with 1600 nits of maximum brightness. On this rather generous screen, there is a notch for a camera. The 1080 HD camera that it comes with shows a remarkable picture on the other end and is useful for remote meetings, though there is also the fact that the MacBook Pro sadly does not feature Face ID unlocking. Putting the new MacBook Pro's M1 chip to the test proved to be quite a delight in terms of raw performance. However, the real spice is the M1 Pro's power efficiency, which quite frankly is vital for a laptop best suited for remote work. While on battery, the M1 Pro chip handles power very efficiently and the drop in performance compared to battery versus plugged in is barely noticeable. This power efficiency also helps the MacBook Pro remain in optimal temperatures, adding to its great thermal design. The M1 Pro chip can also support two simultaneous displays for up to 6K resolution running at a 60Hz refresh rate. Apple's trackpad and the keyboard have always remained consistently good and this carries on over to the MacBook Pro as well. It has a backlit magic keyboard and a force touch trackpad, which of course features multi-touch gestures as well. Being extremely power efficient, greatly designed for handling high thermals and providing a flawless overall experience, it's not difficult to see why the MacBook Pro easily scores our best premium remote work laptop award. The notch with this new variant does present a few problems, but they are minor compared to what this ideally suited and well-designed machine has to offer. 
To sum up what we like here is that the M1 chip is faster and more efficient than its competitors. There are more ports for connectivity. The 16 cores for GPU work wonders for just about any intensive task, fantastic battery life, and the high refresh rate pro motion display. On the downside, the notch camera ends up hindering the display, and there is no face ID unlocking. Our rating for performance is 9 out of 10. Battery, 9 out of 10. Display, 9.5 out of 10. Value for money, 7.5 out of 10 for an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Number 1. Dell XPS 15 On top of our list, we have the Dell XPS 15 taking in the award for the best laptop suited for remote work. The latest Dell XPS 15 features ultra-thin bezels on its body, which Dell has labeled as the Infinity Edge Display, quite rightly so. With these thin bezels, you end up with even more screen space to work with, which is a definite bonus given the Dell XPS 15's fantastic and vibrant 15.6-inch display. It features a 4K display with an aspect ratio of 1610. Even with low brightness, the Dell XPS 15 is able to handle glare off its screen surprisingly well, which makes it really suitable for outdoor use as well. With the low bezels, however, it seems that the webcam of the Dell XPS 15 has taken a hit. It comes with a 720p webcam with not as good a quality as we've seen with the MacBook Pro. In terms of raw CPU performance, the XPS 15 shined through all of our work environmental tasks with ease. However, the XPS 15 comes with either the GTX 1650 Ti or the GTX 2060. With all of this GPU intensive power that the Dell XPS 15 has, it was expected that the thermals would get a bit high and they did. What makes the XPS 15 a viable laptop for remote work is its all-around versatility. Not only does it have the performance figures for powerful applications, but it does have the hardware quality, connectivity, and battery life to make it an excellent remote work laptop as well. In our tests, the battery lasted just shy of 10 hours, which is not that bad for work-related tasks, but does feel a bit short when the price is put into question. However, the Dell XPS 15 can be a long-term good investment for your remote work plans, and rightfully so. To sum it up, we like it because it has a powerhouse of a CPU, high-resolution touchscreen display, minimal glare and high brightness, and the sound quality is great with support for 3D sound. On the downside, the battery life is not that good, and the webcam quality is subpar. Our rating for performance is 9 out of 10. Battery, 8.5 out of 10. Display, 9.5 out of 10. Value for money, 9 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9.5 out of 10. Do you think another laptop is better for remote work? Tell us your opinion.